earlier in the morning, I make sure that I woke up as early as 6. I turn off our lights and sitting fan immediately. I open the window for me to see people outside and to check the weather. Gladly, it's sunny day. I went out to the room, directly to the kitchen and turned off the light since it's already morning. I check if there is water in our sink but unfortunately not, so I have no choice but to fetch a pail of it. So I went outside in the water pump to fetch, instead of using faucet. Just wanna flex my cousin Chi Chi there, and then I noticed that the pail has no handle so another challenge of lifting what I can do. I wash the dishes thoroughly, making sure that it is clean when turned dry. When I finished doing some chores, I took a break, opened the window for natural ventilation instead of using stand fan. When I am done having a break, I noticed that I have a laundry to do, so I decided to finish it instantly for I think it will be raining for the next few days. I do it in a traditional way instead of using washing machine which heightens our electric bills. This wasn't an easy day for me. At night, I first took my bath to feel fresh and clean. I don't want to feel exhausted before sleeping. I went to my room, hung my towel, then go to my bed and sleep as early as I could. For tomorrow is another day to conquer. Good night. We all know that in this world there should be limitations to all things. From how we frequently use a certain appliances up to knowing when to use if needed only. I stand here and do wanted to pursue conserving energy in our home. By just simply turning off our bulbs, air conditioner, by just refusing to use washing machine and up to do traditional way of having laundry. From fetching water instead of using faucets that need to have electricity and by just opening our windows to ventilate our room instead of plugging in our stand fan. These aforementioned ways are just a few tips to conserve energy. But let us be mindful that by some things we do and execute regularly, there we can find solutions to our problem. Conserving energy should not be disregarded. Instead, it should be done by us in our home. If we have our heart to save our planet, then we should know how to conserve energy even in a simpler manner. Let us live peacefully bounded with assurance that we are also living to be of service to our home planet, the Earth.